Hey, welcome back to another I Love Lucy video. I'm John. We're going to do a little bloopers video for you. And I'm sure many of you fans caught this blooper. And we find it in the episode Lucy Hates to Leave. First aired February 4th, 1957. Season 6, episode 16, sadly close to the end of the dream to one of television's greatest shows. In this episode, it opens with Ricky Pacing, worried about the purchase of a house and a 20-year mortgage. A 20-year mortgage, you don't see those anymore. Lucy wakes to see Ricky Pacing on the floor. She asks him, and eventually he tells her that he's worried about the mortgage. Ricky worries about the taxes, the upkeep, and the furniture that they'll need. But Lucy talks him into believing that they won't need new furniture. Lucy eventually calms Ricky, who goes back to sleep. Later, Lucy starts pacing the floor, worried about the purchase of the house. And finally, the next morning, they know the house is a good deal. Fred comes in and reminds them of their 99-year lease, which was created after breaking the lease episode. Fred is going to tear up that lease to release them from that contract, but Fred wants in return to show the apartment immediately, and a couple is completely interested in the apartment and wants to move in right away before the Ricardos are prepared to leave, which isn't supposed to happen for a whole other week. Well, the papers on the house won't be ready for, count them, four more days. So that's a concern for Ricky and Lucy. So Ethel suggests that they, the Ricardos, move in with them for those few days. Ricky is concerned because where are they going to put their furniture? But this is when they learn that the couple wants to buy all the furniture as well. Of course, as the episode progresses, Lucy isn't happy with what the couple wants to do to the furniture. The couple want to change out the lampshade with another that Lucy doesn't think matches the lamp. And they want to paint the coffee table black, which I'm guilty of doing once in my lifetime too. And then they want to cut the legs off of the couch. Personally, I don't blame her for wanting to hold on to that couch. I always loved that couch. <laughs> After the day comes to a close, all the furniture is moved into the Mertz's apartment. Ricky comes home to where they are staying at the Mertz's, and he's surprised to see all the boxes and furniture there. And, of course, Ricky wants Lucy to explain herself. They get into a little bit of an argument. Shortly after, there's a phone call. While that phone continues to ring, all four of them are looking for the phone. Let's see if you can tell what the blooper is. All right. Start explaining. Well, the tailors were ruining our furniture, so I bought it all back. You bought it all back. Well, the is saying it, Fred. I thought the old lady. Where's the phone? They were ruining everything away. Look for the phone. I'm talking to you later. <laughs> hello. Yes, this is Mr. Ricardo. Oh, hello, Mr. Spaulding. All right, fine. Well, we're, we're planning to move in four days. Yes, sir. Okay, well, I gave you an opportunity to see if you saw the blooper. Fred finds the phone, but hands the phone over to Ricky without answering it. Have you caught the blooper yet? <laughs> Ricky actually picks up the receiver and says hello. And therein lies the blooper. Why would Fred hand over his phone to Ricky without answering it first to find out who's calling? <laughs> Fred simply hands his ringing phone to Ricky. Amazingly, the call is for Ricky and not for Fred or Ethel. That call was to tell the Ricardos that the title search on the house has been delayed for two more weeks. Needless to say, no one is happy. What? They have? It was? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. Goodbye. What'd he say? 
The title search for the house has been delayed. We will have to stay here two more weeks. <laughs> oh, that Lucy. Hey, anyone catch that blooper when they're watching that show for the first time? If so, put your comments down in the description box. Love to see it. Okay, that just about does it. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'm sorry for my laughter, but sometimes I just can't help it. And I'll see you in the next one.